So let's unpack this in motion climber e-scooter and let's see what's inside. I got my pocket ax, perfect, okay. Okay, so here is what is currently inside. We have a toolbox kit. We have our power adapter. Here is kind of your typical way that they come. Most e-scooters seem to come like this. Basically you have to attach the handlebars. Looks like it comes with extra tubes. Right now let's pull this thing out. We can clamp, so let's take a look at the clamp because that's always important. If you're going under high speeds, you wanna make sure that the stem doesn't fold down. That seems to be a very positive lock. We can't just pull it. We have to actually hit this little button here. So it's a two-stage locking, so that is a good safety feature. Just feeling the scooter, it feels like quality. Immediately out of the box, my immediate perception, aesthetics, everything, it feels like quality. I've owned, you know, as I said, the S2 Pro, which was by another brand. And just looking at the way this is designed, this also feels like very high quality. But we're gonna end up seeing how it performs because that's what the true test is. The InMotion Climber was designed to climb. It might look like any other e-scooter that you've seen, such as the previous e-scooter that I tested, which was the High Boy S2 Pro, or maybe like the Turbo Ant X7, or, well, the popular Ninebot Max. But this scooter is very different. It has some very unique features that I think you're gonna wanna know about. It has dual 750 watt motors, which have a peak power of 1500 watts. It is IP56 rated for the body and IPX7 rated for the battery. The modular design of the rim or the tire allows you to easily change tires within about 10 minutes. This is called by many the hamburger style rim. It allows the rim to be able to be popped apart so that you can easier change the tire. It's basically like a segmented rim. Now, obviously, it's called the climber for a reason. Well, that's because this thing is designed to climb. So if you live in places like LA and, and in a hilly environment, you're gonna want an e-scooter that has capabilities of climbing because the other e-scooters that I tested, or some of those other similar looking scooters, many of them don't have the ability to deliver 36% inclines. The InMotion Climber is able to climb 36% inclines without breaking a sweat. And I live in Florida, so there's occasional times where I'll come across steep inclines, but for the most part, it's pretty flat. But one of the places where I see a significant incline is when I wanna to go to the beach. The bridges have very steep inclines coming into the beach. And also, beach parking really is terrible. It is so expensive. It is about $5 an hour for beach parking. So, it makes sense. I throw the in-motion climber into the vehicle, I park my vehicle off the island in free parking, and I can take the e-scooter into the island but that means I need to go over the bridge. So we're gonna end up testing the in-motion climber to see if it can go over the Fort Myers bridge. So this bridge here goes way up and way down and we're gonna ride up it multiple times to just see if this in-motion climber can truly climb steep slopes and not lose power. So going over this bridge, we are now reaching speeds of 17 miles an hour, 18 miles an hour, 21 miles an hour. This is insane. This scooter definitely lives up to its name. 
When going over the Fort Myers Beach Bridge, I was so impressed. I was able to reach speeds of 21 miles an hour climbing up the bridge on the steepest side of the bridge. We're gonna go back up the bridge on the other side just to give it one more shot. We wanna make sure that we are really testing this because this, this scooter is called the climber. This scooter is at the top of its class in terms of size, portability, and performance. So check out how high we are up. We did that at 20 miles an hour. Once I did that, once I tested that, I knew that I had made the right choice at going and getting this scooter. This scooter tops out at 23.7 miles an hour, which beats out many of the other scooters in its size or category. Uh, so some of the other scooters that I've mentioned, other scooters that I've reviewed that are ultra portable, like the InMotion Climber, they will typically top out at around 19 to 20 miles an hour. So the InMotion Climber is definitely faster, um, but that low end torque being able to climb up you know inclines that is just really what sets this scooter apart now you might be thinking it has dual motors there's no way it's going to have anything for an impressive range but it actually has an impressive rated range of 35 miles and i would say on average with average mixed use mixed speeds it probably has close to a tested range of 27 miles and I've noticed that others seem to say 25 to 28 mile range um, with their mixed use. So that is also above the other scooters. So the real world tested range of the scooter is still above the max rated range that other companies are advertising for their similar size scooters. The other cool thing about the scooter is it is built very, very well. It has a max rider capacity of 130 kilograms or 286.6 pounds. So you can be a bigger rider and still ride with confidence uh, knowing that the, the scooter can support you. The scooter comes with a one year warranty. It has a 15 day return period and they currently have free shipping. So this scooter is going to come in at a price point of $9.99 MSRP, but you're not going to have to pay that price. It's typically going to be about $6.99 to $7.99, which I think is an absolute steal. The High Boy S2 Pro comes in at a few hundred dollars less, but it has about a third of the power. Uh, the 9 Bot Max is going to come in at about the same price, but it also has less power. So to me, this is a no brainer. This company is an innovative company. They take control of their designs. One of the big things that they do that is really unique is they have this app integrated into their scooter, which gives you a lot of information on your scooter's performance. And it really is a safety feature as well. So one of the things that it has is this scooter has a BMS system which keeps your battery in good health. And the app allows you to monitor every individual cell in that scooter to make sure that you know if you start having any bad cells. The app also lets you monitor your motor temperatures as well as some of the chipsets. The app will also let you record your routes and look at your average top speeds. It has a bunch of useful features. One of the features I like is that you can lock the scooter for anti-theft purposes from the app. There you go. Vehicle is locked. You can see it has a little paddle lock. So now no one can steal it. So I actually used that while I was on the beach. I just locked up the scooter via the app and then the scooter can't move. Um, it's pretty much gonna be worthless to the, the person. They're, they're gonna really struggle to move it. So that was a pretty cool uh, feature that was built in. I think all scooters should have that and many are incorporating that. So that is not necessarily something unique, but I'm glad that InMotion decided to include that. Let's see what the, the braking's like. 
eh, braking's not too bad. Um, we were only doing, you know, maybe 10 to 15 miles an hour there, but braking felt okay. The scooter has electronic and it has disc brakes. Um, so it has kind of a dual braking going on. And that allows for a very responsive braking system. Okay. So I actually can see where my braking started. So right here, I started braking right there. So that, was, that wasn't too bad. Uh, it wasn't the best braking system that I've experienced on e-scooters, but I found that it was very controllable. So when I was at high speeds, I didn't feel like I was gonna fly off. I felt like when I really hit the brakes hard at higher speeds, I felt like I had a very controllable stop. One thing I noticed is I was able to ride one-handed on this scooter a little bit better. I wouldn't recommend it, but the scooter, really the way it's designed, it really fit me well. I'm six foot two, and I found that the steering and everything felt very comfortable and very stable on this scooter, especially over the previous scooter that I had, which I gave to my father, which was the High Boy S2 Pro. I felt like this scooter design just felt overall more comfortable to ride. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe. Also, if you are interested in the InMotion Climber or any of the other InMotion products, check out the link in our description for the best prices.